My name is Gavin Evans and this is my ranking of the three Bioshock games from worst to best. Now I heard amazing things about this franchise my entire life. Well, not my entire life, but for the past decade at least. And I'm so thankful that for the most part it lived up to it. But let's begin talking about what's my least favorite. And this is a very unpopular opinion because this seems to be most people's favorite. But it's Bioshock Infinite. This comes in sword place. Look, I love the setting of the flying city and it's fun enough, but it does feel more like a standard first person shooter game than the other two. And just everything I love about this franchise, I felt was really lacking here. I think it's a lot more reliant on story and characters here. And I think the direction they end up taking the story in the very end is absolutely laughably bad. It becomes an absolutely convoluted mess that's trying to feel a lot grander and a lot bigger and epic than it really is. It's still got some redeeming qualities, but at the end of the day, everything I love about this franchise, the atmosphere, the underwater setting, the survival whole aspect of it is just completely lacking here, so it comes in last place. In second place, we've got Bioshock 2. And yes, it is more of the same, but it's more of the same that I love about this franchise. It's got this incredible atmosphere. I absolutely love the setting of Rapture and the survival hall aspects are really great. It just keeps you on edge throughout the entire time. There are a few moments where the lights go out in this game and it just, it manages to be so chilling and tense. And one thing I forgot to mention in my review for it is the amazing sound design. It really does elevate this game. I love the score. It sounds like the music from Insidious and I love that about it. The story isn't the best, but unlike Bioshock Infinite, it's not all too reliant on it. It's just a vehicle to showcase this atmosphere and this setting and it does exactly what it needs to. So that's why it's in second place. But in first place, if you've done the math, you should be able to figure it out. It is the very first Bioshock. This is a game that I wasn't expecting to love as much as I did. It just blew me away with every single aspect of it. For a game that came out in 2007, it holds up incredibly well. And as soon as I entered the city of Rapture, I fell in love with this game, in this universe, in this city, and it just brings it to life in such a pitch perfect way. This city that is falling apart, that's got genetic mutations running wild. It just does everything so perfect. And one thing that this game definitely does better than the second game is the level design. I love the look and the feel of the garden, of the th theater with Sanders Cohen, of the hospital with the dentist's office and the doctors. Like the level design really is incredible. And I love the world building, just finding out about Adam and these big daddies and these little sisters and just trying to figure everything out. It kind of has a mystery to it, which I just found to grab me from the very beginning. And it manages to be tense, scary, creepy while still delivering on action. It's just everything that I, Everything to do with these games I fell in love with in this very first one. I absolutely loved it. I had a blast playing it. I was on edge. It's got some amazing sound. I love the old fashioned music and how it adds to that atmosphere. I love the city of Rapture. I love how simple of a story this one has, but it still manages to have some twists and tones that I found to be effective. It's just a game that really worked for me in every way. It's a little too difficult, but that's just because I'm not the best at video games, but I still loved it. It is easily my favorite game of the three. So that is my ranking of the three Bioshock games. What's your ranking? What's your least favorite? What's your favorite? What did you think of my ranking? Let me know in the comments down below. Make sure you like, make sure you comment, make sure you subscribe. Stay tuned for some more videos soon, and Gavin out.